everyone! Welcome to this short Recorded by RSL Diary video series uh, with me. I am Isa Badiola. Nice to meet you. This isn't my first vlog, but it is the first time I get to talk to everyone in a curated way. Curated because I'm an introvert and also a Leo, so I'm particular about my image. Really, who's the real clown about? image. I'm not wearing makeup, so do I really care at this point? I'm not sure. I'm just what fucking whatever. Anyway, a bit of history. <laughs> Recorded by RSL was formally conceptualized in 2017 under a different name. Guess who has the trademark for said name? <laughs> With a few basic prompts. Animated, short format, so 10 minutes or less. Diverse, inclusive cast and characters. And uh, making a big world small. My solution to these was an animated vlog. I wanted to tell you about some of the people who helped build the show from the ground up. Uh, wasn't just me. It was actually a huge team effort. A whole pipeline, one would say. First off, this is my co-writer and co-developer Joshua Kazemi. Hi! <laughs> <laughs> what do you do at Rooster Teeth? My title technically is producer editor. I write, uh, direct some things, and edit at Rooster Teeth in the animation department. Josh helped put a lot of humor and levity into the series, while also understanding the core of what I wanted to do with the show and with our main character. I asked him here about his experience working on the project. Man, yeah, it's been it's been such a journey. I think it's like that's the first word that has always come up in my head when I've thought about it. That has been such a rewarding experience getting to just sit in a room and kind of think as writers and and just kind of dream up a world and dream up what are these characters are going to do and we kind of got to do that and that was very very fun. So my big question for him is what is something that surprised him during the process? I, I've come from more of a live action background and Recorded by RSL was the first narrative animation project that I got to work on and it was such a surprise to like be in rooms with you guys, the animators, seeing you guys like dissect it like like literally frame by frame and picking apart little things that could improve or could be better. I would sit in that room next to Austin and I'd be like, did you notice that little <laughs> thing? And you're like, no, they're, they're, that, that's what they do. I think everybody knows that a lot of care and love goes into animation, but it's, it's one thing to know that like intellectually and a whole nother thing to see it in action. Spoilers, Tanya, our lead animator, also had some stuff to say about this as well. Everyone really, really like wanted to come together with the animation style. Like I'm really happy that everyone was so accepting of, you know, doing that. Like everyone was really excited to do more, you know, smooth animation and less the snappy style that we're all used to. Uh, it was just fun to watch everyone give that style a shot and really just do something different and learn from it. And from a, from a writing perspective, I think what was surprising was how fun and kind of challenging it would be to be creative and come up with cool stuff, but then funnel it through what is like your voice and vision for the show. Because I think that's what will make the show special is that it's your unique voice and vision. Any writer who wants to work on a show like needs to develop. You gotta make it sound like the tone of the show. So that was like my first real chance to do that. And it was a really fun challenge. Great answer, Josh. You're so Thank cool. you. <laughs> now I get to introduce you to Tanya Fetzer. She is the lead animator that I actually really wanted for the project. Hi, I'm Tanya. Behold my messy apartment. Tanya, can you show me your dog? I can. He's actually right here. Yo, man. Hi. What is something else you'd want more people to know about you? What's there to know about me? I'm short. <laughs> I'm short and also very direct. And I love my dog. Between Maggie, <laughs> Minnie, Tanya, and I, I call this the short people leads team. We are the short people lead team. <laughs> Fight us. Tanya and I actually connect a lot on the idea of injecting more emotion, appeal, and subtlety into performances. And she's really great to work with. And always asked if I needed help. I usually did. <laughs> and my heroes of the project and the department are the sound guys. Hello. Hi, I'm Alina. Uh, I am the sound designer, Foley artist, sound editor for Arizal. She also does almost every other animation project in Rooster Teeth. Yeah. <laughs> I also love her cat. This is Stevie. She's a fatty, but I love her. Yeah. <laughs> There's the cat butt. Yeah, so I'm Philip Spann. I'm our re-recording mixer. 
for a lot of our animated shows, including recorded by RSL. Um, and basically what that is, is at the end, I take dialogue, music, and sound effects and sort of just combine them into one cohesive soundscape. Philip is a really chill dude who has some of the best Halloween costumes, and I also love his cat. Like I mentioned earlier, <laughs> really risky. She's very upside down right now, and this is going to be a massive, massive betrayal, so... <laughs> You say hi, Gleam? No. Sound is tantamount for this particular series because we don't always have music. We scrutinize the voice performance. Oh, look at this cast. Oh my god, they did so amazing. <laughs> but also the sounds around Arisal give depth to the world around her. Also makes it important when we break convention. Hmm. And honestly, that's the tip of the iceberg. I genuinely want to talk about every person in the credits role. There's just so many people. To think about it doesn't cover joe nicolosi who came up with the prelude idea in the first place and he pushed josh and me to write gave us a lot of really good writing advice too on that front the marketing and pr teams who've been helping bring the show to public the graphic design team who make the logo oh my god the group of people even that i asked to help with my original pitch deck back in 2017. <sighs> there are so many hands involved with making something like this come true even as something as small as a four-part prelude to a story i kind of it just really goes to show that animation is a journey and it is an effort and i didn't want this endeavor to be an island i wanted it to be a bridge that's kind of the truth of it I couldn't have done this on my own. I'm happy you guys stuck around to watching this first video diary. Um, stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you later. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode. If you like this stuff, you should check out I Have Notes or go ahead and click on one of the videos on screen to keep watching more Rooster Teeth animated content. Or you can even go to roosterteeth.com and watch the show that we were talking about recorded by Arsal. Oh my God, you have so many choices. I'm really happy for you. Please go. <laughs>